then pencil talk, play, and collect with more than 90 characters. At Plastic Bay Fantastic. This is your Australia Zoo. Meet our majestic elephants. Watch Yowens feed the crops. Take on our epic obstacle course. And embark on a treasure hunt of discovery at Australia Zoo. They're so soft, so calming, and the best sleepy time pillow. Go online to poppillows.com.au to get your pop pillow for $39.99. Free postage for orders of two or more. Must be 18 years or older to order. Welcome to a world where mystery and discovery have the click of a polar bus. Here, ghosts roam free. Find hidden treasures. Brave fight the enemies. And save ghost map friends with the new Lego Super Mario Luigi Expansion sets. Lego Luigi Star Force and other sets sold separately. Batteries not included. It's the Magic Adventures Globe from Leapfrog. Travel the world by tapping the globe anywhere to learn about countries, animals, languages, and more through over 600 exclusive BBC videos. The Magic Adventures Globe. From. Color your world with Color Mix. You choose the color, then you mix. Go from clear to colorful in six different ways. Come on, let's play. Color Mix from Orbeez. Now available from Living Australia and retailers. I'm Nate Wright, and I'm kind of a big deal. You're like a minor celebrity. <laughs> Rain has streamed in across the north coast again today, causing major flooding in Lismore. Thankfully, that region will get a bit of a break tomorrow. Thick cloud in southeast Queensland and eastern New South Wales, and a deepening low is generating the heavy rain and isolated storms. As we've seen, widespread flooding affects this region, and many warnings are current. So, it was wet along the coastal parts of our region today, while it was mostly fine in the west. Temperatures from the low to high 20s. Tomorrow the low should deepen as it moves away and it'll combine with a firming high, bringing strong winds to coastal regions and really ramping up surf conditions with large waves expected right along the New South Wales coast. Looking more closely, we can see rain easing in flood affected parts tomorrow, thankfully, but it will ramp up further south as we head down to the Hunter and Central Coast regions. We'll have full details tonight at 6. If it's happening in sport, you'll see it on NBA News. No one covers local, national and international events better than our team of dedicated journalists. When sport happens, they're on the ground. NBA News, 
your number one news service in northern New South Wales. Live tonight at 6pm. With Play Central on the tablet, you get unlimited access to your favourite racing across Sky 1, Sky 2 and Thoroughbred Central. And you can bet wise to watch anywhere you like. Play Central, only on the tablet. Tab, long may we play. There are hundreds of specials every week at your local IGA. This week, pick up Makona Coffee 400 gram varieties, $18 each. And Kettle Chip Selected Varieties, $2.50 each. Half price. Save every day at your local IGA. Look, the hard time for me was always when I was on a work break. Every time I'd have a break, I'd have a smoke. It, was, it ended up being my routine, to be honest. But I talked to the Quitline Counselor about some things that would you know, work best for me, and he suggested chewing nicotine gum as a way to get through the craving. Beat cravings one at a time. Click or call to quit. Search I Can Quit or call a counsellor at Quitline. Doesn't get any better than this. Extra gooey caramel, coated with luscious Tim Tam chocolate. Discover our most indulgent Tim Tam range ever. What more could you wish for? Here's a deal that will buy your hair back. Any large Domino's pizza from just $15 delivered. Choose from our range of over 30 flavors, including premium ingredients. Delivered from $15 at Domino's. Change. It comes in many shapes and sizes. Change the wheels. <laughs> against different strains and new flu vaccine for over 60s. Preparations underway for Shane Warne's State Memorial tonight at the MCG. And Kate Haberfield sits down with Knights back rower Tyson Frizzell and his young family ahead of the milestone game. All those stories and more coming up tonight at 6. Speed camera crusade. Boom warns drivers so they don't get bored. you got lots of fans, haven't you, mate? A current affair tonight. It's the final day. Save 30% off store wide at Spotlight. Yes, that's 30% off Manchester Home Decorating, Sewing Craft, Yarn, Party Curtains, Blinds and Shadows store wide. So you can create, decorate, and celebrate for less. Sale must end tonight at Spotlight. It's what you make it. Aldi's pre marinated boneless lamb leg is so easy, it's impossible to mess it up. Butterfly lamb leg, now only $16.99 per kilo. Howdy. Good. Different. If you're looking for a great advantage on your home line, then Greater Bank's Great Rate Home Line gives you exactly that. Save it with this great low rate. It really is a great rate. Plus, no monthly fees, no annual fees, and no establishment fees. To save, talk with our home line experts and gain your greater advantage with Greater Bank. Hungry Jack's new pork belly deluxe. Two flame little beef patties with succulent pork belly strips and spicy sauce. The new pork belly deluxe. The burgers are better at Hungry Jack's. Has your life been turned upside down by a road accident? Talk to Australia's number one plaintiff law firm. Morris Blackburn Lawyers will maximise your claim so you can get on with your life again. Call us now. It costs nothing to know where you stand. The climate is changing. It's time we all did too. Away from the big energy polluters to a company truly invested in affordable clean energy. Nectar. How energy is meant to be. 
time. The scoop-free self cleaning litter box automatically rakes waste out of sight and controls odour for weeks. Don't you wish everything was as easy as scoop-free? Director once again be named Money Magazine's best valued car and home and contents insurer. That's what I need this all do. Pretty impressive. It's time you switch to Budget Direct. Our beautiful backyard is under threat of extinction. That's why Botanica and WWF United. We've helped secure over 30 threatened wildflower species so far. Botanica by Airway, home fragrances made with the planet in mind. Australia is making positive energy. It's all part of our plan to reach net zero by 2050. We're investing billions in projects like hydrogen hubs, which means more jobs and less emissions, which are already down by 20%, helping us reach net zero by 2050. Authorised by the Australian Government Camera. Ready to blast off with us and the lottery of us. Australia's ticket to the world's largest official lottery. This is your chance to become Australia's next member of the company there. Exceptional performance with a stunning OLED display and save $400. Get 60 months interest free, no deposit, no interest with 60 approximately equal monthly payments from Latitude now at Domain. With IKEA, something as simple as an easel can make us want to push our creativity even further. Learning to grow plants. 
plants at home could make us want to grow something bigger later in life. At home, it's never too late to write your own story and even share it with the world. Yes, we make our homes what they are, but when you think about it, home makes you make yourself at home with IKEA. Natasha Bailsdorf with an NBN News update. Here we go again. Heartbreaking scenes in the northern rivers with Lismore evacuated and Byron Bay inundated with flood waters. Gavin Morris is live from the flood zone with the very latest. The federal budget release will have a detailed analysis of what it means for regional families. Four times the protection against different strains the new flu vaccine for over 60s. Preparations underway for Shane Warne's State Memorial tonight at the MCG. And Kate Haberfield sits down with Knights back rower Tyson Frizzell and his young family ahead of the milestone game. All those stories and more coming up tonight at 6. Speed camera crew safe. Bow warns drivers so they don't get caught. You've got lots of fans, haven't you, mate? At current affair tonight. The most ever Bee Gees win the mega hits and original Bee Gees product hold smiley figures hooked to the Twin Town Services Club on Saturday, April 16. It'd be a tragedy to miss the best of the Bee Gees hooked out at Twin Town, Saturday, April 16. You might not think it, but I've lived in some unique places. Like 189 days aboard a yacht, including one scary time overboard. If you're like me and where you call home changes over time, it's good to know that AP has different home insurance options to choose from. Get a quote today. Call Apia on 13 50 50. Tonight, Lismore evacuated and several other towns inundated. We join you live from the flood zone. Federal budget tax cuts and payouts. What do they mean for regional families? And Knights for Mitch Barnett sidelined for six matches by the NRL judiciary. All the details next. Now. Three, two, one. Get ready 
need to blast off with huge jackpots with the lottery office. Proudly of the owner of mine, the lottery office is Australia's ticket to world's largest official lotteries. This is your chance to become Australia's next mega-millionaire with jackpots currently worth over half a billion dollars. And tickets to all the favourites, including the USA Power Lotto, Italian Super Jackpot, and the European Millions. The lottery office truly what are you doing? Fantastic furniture. Find your fantastic. I used to smoke when I was gardening, and the people on the I Can Quit site suggested nicotine gum, so I chew that now. Eat cravings one at a time. Search I Can Quit or call Quit Line. If you're looking for a greater advantage on your home loan, then Greater Bank's Great Rate Home Loan gives you exactly that. Say it with this great low rate. It really is a great rate. Plus, no monthly fees, no annual fees, and no establishment fees. To say, talk with our home loan experts and gain your greater advantage with Greater Bank. Roadside assist. So if your battery goes flat, you know you're covered. We'll be twisty, gripping the palmy, extra gravy on the side. Who are kidding? Make it super size. M E N U L O G. Australia every 10 minutes. 
But if we take care of our clothes with the help of Vanish, which removes tough stains better than detergent alone, plus removes odors and brightens colors, we can rewear our clothes for longer and help keep them out of landfill. That feels pretty damn good. Clothes live longer with Vanish. Fill up with Hungry Jack's new Hunger Tamers. Get a classic Jack's Fried Chicken Burger and a Chicken Royale, medium chips, three chicken nuggets and a medium drink. Get Jack's Fried Chicken and Pork Belly Hunger Tamers at Hungry Jack's. Being a new mom, I'm so busy and I just need to make some time for myself. Jenny Craig suits my busy life perfectly. The convenience of food coming to my door it couldn't be more ideal. Rapid Results Max worked for me. What are you waiting for? Start today. Your boss is taking the office cricket match seriously. That's out. What are you going to do? Three times the protection for those high pressure moments. Rexona Clinical. Do you remember anything? Do you know who you are? I'm an alien. What's the name of your planet? Tong Tong Go! My people are coming to kill everyone. You have to do something about this. You're an alien from God. No idea. No idea. I think we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. Sweet the latest episode of Resident Alien. Online now. You're welcome. Free entertainment. What? What an achievement. Thank you. 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 Tonight, flood emergency, Lismore told to evacuate twice in 24 hours. Red weather traps an elderly couple in their Gold Coast apartment for weeks. And the reaction from Surfest, that's coming up next. Speed camera crew safe. Boo warns drivers so they don't get bored. You got lots of fans, haven't you, mate? Yeah. A current affair tonight. Thinking of going solar? Get smart with a total home solar solution from Solart. Get world-leading solar panels backed by a 25-year Australian warranty. Get a smart water heater that talks to your solar system so you never waste a drop of sunshine. Get a battery that brings your spare sunlight to the night. And then get it all connected with SolarHeart's smart energy management system. Don't get any old solar. Get smart. Get SolarHeart. Olay Vitamin C Collection, now in cream. This scientifically advanced collection is absorbed two times more to bring out your inner glow from day one. Olay Vitamin C. When a cold disturbs your family's sleep, Vicks Vapor Rub relieves cough, nasal congestion, headaches, and muscle aches. They sleep, you sleep. Vicks Vapor Rub, also available in an easy applicator. When you sweat like a dude, produce oil like a dude, you get dandruff like a dude. We call it dandruff. Hidden shoulders ultra mm -hmm. activated carbon. Five dandruff like a dude with hidden shoulders. Dandruff. Hungry Jack's new pork belly deluxe. Two flaming little beef patties with succulent oh, pork belly chips and spicy sauce. What the new oh, pork, pork belly? Deluxe. Oh, the oh, pork, pork belly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Don't be a closer. If it's not in the bin, if it's not in the bin, it's on you. Don't be a tosser. If it's not in the bin, it's on you. Budget director Australia's most award-winning title in all reserve. Five more awards than X or you. And now we can start insurer of the year. It's time you switch to budget direct. All ready to go. Cole's car insurance is full of nice surprises. Like the fact that last year we paid out 99% of car claims. So you can get back to what really counts. Cole's value the Australian way. Drakes have all the ingredients for Easter. From tasty hot cross buns and all the Easter yums like chocky eggs and bunnies to fill their hungry tummies. For Easter at home or away, Drakes. Ingredients for every day. Get travel guides are back to make travel great again. You can't possibly be driving a bus across America. Are we ready? In the Super Summer Sleep Sleep Sound, the travel guides saddle up. We decided to end the radio. For 
their most outrageous adventure ever. Oh, yeah, let's take it out. <laughs> Watch out, America. The travel guides are coming. Oh, that's not good. The new travel guides kicks off in the USA tonight on 9. Coming up in the news, a flood emergency in northern New South Wales with several towns evacuated. Regional communities react to the federal budget and Knights Ford Mitch Barnett is suspended for six matches. All oh. the details next. Tonight, crisis after crisis, flood ravage leaves more inundated again as the Wilsons River rises. Byron Bay swamped after copying 300 millimetres of rain. The Morrison government starts selling its so-called cost of living budget. Fans flock to the MCG to farewell Shane Wall. And Newcastle's Mitch Barnett learns his fate for flooring a panther. This is ABN News. Good evening tonight. I'm coming to you live from Lismore. We're just weeks out from the worst flooding event and living memory. And behind me, yet again, the CBD is going under. It's a devastating blow. Communities right across the northern rivers are again tonight under evacuation orders. Now, these floodwaters are expected to keep rising in the coming hours as the river reaches 12 metres. We have reporters in key locations tonight covering this latest weather emergency. But first of all, let's begin here in Lismore with Gracie Richter. Gracie, what's the latest information from authorities? Gab, tonight the search is continuing for a missing woman south of the city near Wairala Road. While evacuation orders remain in place for several parts of Lismore as we wait for the Wilsons River to peak. peak rather. Peak. And towns along yeah. the Richmond River yeah. like Korokai and Bungawalbin are currently experiencing major flooding in another long day for residents across the region. In the dark of early morning, anxious residents stand by the Lismore levee wall, fearing a repeat of floodwaters that smashed the city just weeks ago. Showing 0.98 to the topic, but we estimate that's at least 40 centimetres out. So we're thinking it's about 0.58 to over topping. The Browns Creek pump station doing its best to keep the Wilsons River at bay, but it was no match by mid-morning it burst. As you can see, it is just completely swamped. That 10.6 metres is well and truly lapping over the edge now. Locals once again forced to watch on as businesses and homes went under. Oh, devastating. Yeah, devastating. It's, um... Yeah, it tears your heart out. North and South Lismore completely flooded. The CBD underwater yet again. Oh, I don't know how to feel. Um, other than totally exhausted and a little bit defeated. The floodwaters are not quite reaching the heights it did weeks ago, but a heartbreaking setback all the same. I just hope we can all get back up and down again so we can, you know, help the people and keep going. Confusion remains over why yesterday's evacuation order was lifted. The SES who issued the order says the Bureau of Meteorology's forecast came back favourably, but after an overnight deluge, the order was reinstated. It's really sad when we're relying on Facebook posts from um, amateur meteorologists telling you what we should and shouldn't be doing rather than our national um, agency. The SES says with so many people yet to return to their homes after last month's flood, the task of evacuating locals and the number of rescues has not been as dramatic as last time. The floods that brought an army of volunteers and emergency services to the region just weeks ago, not as necessary this time around. But it's a huge blow for a region which has spent weeks picking up the pieces. To be swamped again, but lessons have been learned and this resilient city was better prepared. The difference between now and last month was, you know, Massive difference in rescues. People were just caught off guard. The local emergency services do a great job in responding, but it's a, it's a major incident or a disaster, so it's always overwhelming no matter what. So um, this is definitely a role for community members and civilians to play in it. Tonight, Lismore locals once again wait for the water to recede so the cleanup can resume. We've all still got a job at the moment, but it's getting back in there and cleaning and going up just like everybody else. Gracie Richter, NBN News.
Byron Bay CBD was also completely inundated, copying an incredible 300 millimetres, most of it coming down overnight. The mayor and residents completely frustrated as they didn't get enough or no warnings at all. They say it is the worst flooding that they've ever witnessed. An iconic beach town goes under. This morning's coffee run in Byron Bay interrupted by floodwaters. Slammed by an overnight deluge, the extent of the downpours revealed at daybreak. Some needing a moment to take it all in. Devastating. Look at the place. It's a uh, lake fire at the moment. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. Roads cordoned off with police tape. Cars stuck in streets. Others selfishly travelling through floodwaters. Making things worse for local businesses. Including the new OPSN, which only opened last week. It's heartbreaking, it really is. I was actually in there yesterday and I was just so proud of the new shop. It was beautiful, new carpet, and it's about to put underwater now. Ed Ahern has owned the local supermarket for more than 25 years. No, I've never seen anything like this. This is extraordinary. In Suffolk Park, this family woke to half a metre of water inside their home. The RFS called in to pump water out. No, it looks like it's not doing much, but when you see what's coming out of the hose at the other end, it's just spewing water out and um, it's just collecting from the big basin there, so it's got a lot of work to do. Similar scenes near Ballina, water seen streaming down the stairs of a Cumberland home. In the 24 hours to 9am, Cooper's Chute recorded 319 millimetres of rain. Nearby Byron Bay got 282, as did Ballina. 400 millimetres fell in New Italy and 430 in Alstonville, 121 of that in three hours and subsequently causing this landslide. There were no official warnings issued, many forced to rely on social media to get the latest information. I live in Ewingsdale and I stayed with my friends last night and I actually can't get home and I'm diabetic so luckily I have enough insulin on me. Unfortunately, the information again this time has been scanned. Um, no warning from the from SES or the bomb that, that this could happen um, here. Byron Bay was largely spared from the floods that ripped through the region just weeks ago. But now, as you can see, the CBD is submerged in water. Long-term residents telling me they've never seen anything like this before. Now it's a waiting game with more rain forecast tonight. There's massive concern about the lack of warnings and even potential protection of this event, especially when other private sites were predicting exactly what was going on. I think some serious questions need to be asked there. The race now on to clean up before Byron welcomes Easter holidaymakers in two weeks' time. Josephine Shannon, NBN News. Oh, mm -hmm. Josie is in Byron Bay for us this evening. Josie, what's the latest information there? Gap, the SES says there's still a number of days to go with dangerous conditions on roads and in communities. In the last 24 hours, there's been 55 flood rescues across the Northern Rivers and people are urged to keep up with the latest warnings. Here in Byron, the flood water is receding, but we're expecting more rain tonight. Gap. Thank you, Josie. Well, it was this time last night that almost a sense of complacency fell across the region. And as I explained, that was the passing of the low, the, the centre of it. It was literally the eye of the storm. On the radar, you can literally see that spiral motion, how it unfolded. Because this time last night, only half of the storm had passed. The worst half was to come once the centre of that low found the very warm waters of the East Australian current just off the coast. It ramped up, winds increased. Okay. And so too, there's an incredibly heavy downpours. So what is going to occur right. now? That low, it has moved right. back towards right. the coast, but now it is going to pull away. It is going to move quickly into the centre of the Tasman, but here's the catch. It is then going to retrogress, moving back towards the coast yet again. Then the east coast is going to see a massive swell unfold as we move into Friday and Saturday. So the rain showers will continue, but they will also ease Tash. But next up, next round, is the huge swell headed for the coast. Just such challenging times, aren't they? Thank you, Gav. We'll come back to you later this evening.
The federal government has spent the day spruiking its so-called cost of living budget and fixing kitchen table economics. But the opposition has taken aim at the big picture, Australia's mountain of debt, which will need to be repaid by future taxpayers. An early start and some moral support. Great job, <laughs> For a treasurer who had burned the midnight oil and risen before dawn to hit the airways to sell his budget. We have thrown a kitchen sink at ensuring that we see a strong recovery. Joined on the rounds by the Prime Minister because this economic blueprint is their re-election pitch. We have a plan, we have a clear plan, and it's a plan that's working because I know Australians are working. Running interference was the man who would be king. They may as well be stapling cash to have a vote in May. And his shadow treasurer, who tore a page from the coalition playbook and honed in on a mountain of debt. Well, no government's actually gone to an election with a worse set of books than this one will be going to this election. Net debt fell to zero in 2006 and there was a $16 billion surplus. During the financial crisis, the debt hit $209 billion and Labor's six budgets delivered $237 billion in deficits. The coalition labelled this a debt and deficit yeah. disaster. Last yeah. night's budget has a net debt hitting $715 billion. And since 2019, yeah, coalition yeah. budgets have tallied $376 yeah. oh, billion dollars worth of deficits with no surplus for yeah. in the next... Yeah. 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 Would it be out on, there, on Friday morning? Do you want us to win this or the investment just the interventions that this government made during the course of the pandemic saved the Australian economy? The budget's plan is to win voters by halving the petrol tax and putting cash in people's pockets through one off payments and tax no rebates. And this is the battle the Prime Minister wants. They don't know how to put a budget together, Mr. Swinger. They have no idea. Now the clock is ticking. The election flag could drop any day from Friday. Returning now to our front coverage and parts of the Cross Coast have also been hit by non stop rain, with evacuation orders issued for parts of Uranga. An ominous start to the day. This boat losing its mooring, hammered by waves in the harbour. On Albany Street, a tree smashed through a metal fence, blocking the road. Meanwhile, Yurunga SES crews were under the pump. Lots of jobs coming in, a lot of evacuation orders for low-lying areas of parts of Yurunga. Marina Crescent, one of the worst hit. So I've got some flood techs down there at the moment because the crews couldn't get there due to um, water being too high. Reflections Caravan Park eerily empty as holidaymakers were moved to higher ground. Parts of Newry Island also under evacuation orders, although residents were taking it in their stride. No point worrying about something I cannot control. We, I saved a few ornaments in the garden, <laughs> in case the garden floods. Bellingen cut off entirely. Dorigo over 300, Ballinger also over 300 millimetres there. And we're experiencing major flooding on the Ballinger River. With evacuation orders issued for North Bellingen. And landslips once again cutting off access to Dorigo via Water 4 Way. Alison Paul, NBN News. Ocean pollution continues to wreak havoc for our marine life with a number of turtles found dead on the New South Wales Central Coast. It's the second there in a week. A Gold Coast couple in their 70s have been trapped in their seventh storey apartment for nearly a month as their only lift is out of order. But the body corporate is refusing to fix it before insurance companies accept liability and negotiations are a stalemate. A brutal climb. Getting up and down approximately 140 steps and I'm 75 years old. At the top, Chris Langham's Palm Beach apartment Inside, his wife Sue, who's sick and can't manage the stairs. She's been cooped up for five weeks now. She wants to get out of here and she can't. That's because Sable's lift is broken and has been since the basement flooded on the 1st of March. That's our emergency pump area, but underneath that there were two secondary pumps or two uh, permanent pumps that had failed because they were completely inundated. Mark Atkinson, the building's caretaker, has been advocating endlessly to have it fixed but Body Corporate refuses until its insurance companies accept liability. We've got Body Corporate insurance, we've got Builders insurance and we've got Plumbers insurance. Uh, between the three, they should be able to sort it out. 
The big question tenants are asking is why wouldn't body corporate just fix the problem and then claim the cost from the relevant insurance companies? As a body corporate, we are not allowed to touch it. Uh, if we touch it, we negate our builder's warranty. Residents have been told there is no time frame on any lift repair. I thought we might go and stay somewhere for a couple of weeks and hope it's get sorted. That's probably our next move. I've got to get it down the stairs first. Bronte Gilday, NBN News. A man who carjacked a Tugan mother with her young son in the back seat has told the court he's sorry. The 39-year-old today sentenced over the terrifying robbery. Pulling into the car park of Palm Beach Pavilion, Sarah Kennedy there picking up her weekly groceries through Coles Click and Collect. The two-year-old toddler Evan in the back seat. But what the CCTV cameras don't show you on that day in March 2020 is every parent's worst nightmare. I just saw a dark shadow. Almost felt like it just slit. This is David Bainbridge captured on CCTV moments before the carjacking. The 39-year-old today pleading guilty to robbery and the unlawful use of a motor vehicle. I opened up the door and said, get out of my car. What are you doing in my car? Get out of my car. I have a child in the back. David Bainbridge then speeding out of the car park, the boot open, groceries in tow, and little Evan still in his car seat. The vehicle stalls, giving Sarah a chance to grab her son. David Bainbridge today sentenced to two years in prison, released on parole immediately. He told the judge that if he could look Sarah in the face, he'd tell her he was sorry for what he did. Yasmin Bunnell, NBN News. A Port Macquarie man has been charged, accused of purchasing items online to make 3D printed firearm parts. The Australian Federal Police says it executed a search warrant at the 61-year-old's home earlier this month. There, they allegedly found information on electronic devices for printing a semi-automatic firearm and assault rifle. The man will front Port Macquarie Court next Wednesday. Well, with Easter just around the corner, the hunt is on to find the best hot cross buns on the Gold Coast. Tonight, we give you a baker's secret to making the perfect buns. It's the sticky sweet aroma of warm spices. These fluffy fruit started buns, the taste of Easter. A little bit of butter, let it melt nicely on it. While bakeries across the coast claim to have the best, Burley Baker says they've got the perfect recipe. So what's the first step to making a perfect hot cross bun? All right, so the first step is to have the right ingredients. Once you've got the brioche mixed properly, um, then we will add all the sultanas, all the spices and our secret ingredients. So Jerome, the buns are prepped and now we're into the final stage. Yes, we are. Um, so this is the hot cross buns that were mixed, shaped and put on the tray yesterday. Um, as you can see, they're quite big now and just ready to eat the oven. And now for the taste test. Mmm, magnifique. Magnifique. And if you're looking to make them at home? So I suggest people to use just a dry yeast or self-raising flour um, and just do everything by hand and then let it rest, shape the buns and bake. Isabel Quinlan. NBN News. It makes it sound simple. Let's take a quick look at the weather across the region today and the flood threat is starting to ease on the Gold Coast. Coming up after the break, Russia promises to reduce military operations near Ukraine's capital. A surprise companion for the Queen as she honours Prince Philip. And the MCG transformed to farewell a cricket icon. Okay, watch all the commotion. Oh, it's bad. This one bloke's just forwarding random racing tips into a group chat. And they're all just getting on blindly? Yeah. Last tip was a maiden at Wagga. Oh. Came eighth. Oh, so much. Those tips. They're in this group chat as well. The BS is spreading. Okay, listen up. Let's find the source and get them to download the Sportsbet app immediately. Let's move. I don't know what else they put in this group chat. Oh, no. BS responsibly with Sportsbet. When a cold disturbs your family's sleep, fix vapor rub, relieves cough, nasal congestion, headaches, and muscle aches. They sleep, you sleep. Fix vapor rub. Also available in an easy applicator. That's easy to fix, what do you need to do? Don't draw any one off.
of discounts, join the Aussie shoppers who save over $2 billion each year. Aldi, good, different. Amplified premium fuels clean and protect your engine, so you use less fuel and do more clicks with every tick. Amplified, Australia's own. Change. It comes in many shapes and sizes. Change your wheels. Change the dress. change happens, think Yui. We're an insurer that's all about you and where your life's at right now. Yui. You insure. to Youth of the Streets today. Transform your living space with award-winning Australian design and king craftsmanship. Why buy ordinary furniture when you can come home to King? All on sale on now. It's still hard to believe that Shane Warne is no longer with us, but tonight the nation and the cricketing world will say goodbye with a memorial service and a celebration of his exploits about to get underway at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. They're descending on a sporting mecca to pay homage to their hero. It's just really sad and he's going to be such a loss. My sister died, she was in the bottom of me and um, I borrowed this top of her husband to come and represent her and reminisce and I'm getting very emotional. And we have kind people in this world, we have rude people in this world and warning, he was a kind person. A Boxing Day test atmosphere at the end of March. I reckon he was a legend. He was just a great Aussie bloke. The Melbourne Cricket Ground, where the King of Spin could always pull a crowd, transformed into a stage for one last long goodbye. Dad always loved the crowd. He always loved putting on a performance. And he'll have a global audience, the two-hour memorial beamed around the world, with the granddaughter of another cricketing god opening the show, singing the national anthem. I think about what Grandpa thought of Shane. I mean, he just absolutely had a massive soft spot uh, for Shane Warne. Warne's magic moments as a cricketer will be relived and remembered. And he's done it. And there's so many people who have come and offered their, their help in tributes, video tributes, it's just going to be a massive night. And the West Indies Brian Lara got the ball rolling early. And he always produced that miracle delivery, the one that you didn't know was coming. With Sachin Tendulkar from the other end. Because he was extremely good at you know, putting pressure and playing mind games and trying to plan your dismissal. There will be a roll call of superstars turning a memorial into a celebration. <laughs> For a cricketer who transcended the game, famous both on and off the field. I don't think we'll, we'll get another Shane on and another dad like him. Russia has promised to reduce military activity near Ukraine's capital during the latest round of peace talks. But an agreement might still be weeks away, if it comes at all, with attacks still being launched across the country. At a secret military site in the west of Ukraine, Rumblings of a ceasefire can barely be heard over the blast of bullets. While Ukraine's negotiators push for peace, the country's defenders keep strengthening their battle skills. This tight-knit territory defence team could be called to the front lines at any stage. The aim of the peace talks, to end the need for that, 
Today, the biggest step towards a ceasefire we've seen so far, Russian tanks filmed moving away from the capital, as Moscow declared it will dramatically reduce its military activity in Kyiv and the northern city of Chernihiv. Russia's Deputy Defence Minister saying it's in order to increase mutual trust. We'll see. I don't read anything into it until I see what their actions are. The Pentagon saying Russia isn't fully withdrawing from the capital, it's likely just repositioning as fighting continues. Yeah, nobody should be fooling ourselves by the Kremlin's now recent claim that it will suddenly just reduce military attacks near Kyiv. A sentiment echoed by Ukraine's president. <laughs> Ukrainians are not naive, he says. These signals do not shut down the rips of Russian shells. In this city, on the outskirts of the capital, the damage is done. Russian troops have been forced out of Erpin, but all that's left behind is desolation. Corpses abandoned on the street, building after building destroyed. And there was no let-up to the bombardment in the south, a Russian airstrike ripping a hole through a city administration building in Nikolaev, killing at least 12. This soldier tells us the day the war began, he returned from Poland to fight. Uh, saying he feels hatred for Putin and the people who support him. Another soldier, Serhi, tells us even if we kill Putin or he dies, it doesn't mean it's over. Just two months ago, we were filming at Territory Defence training exercises when they were preparing for war. Many people believe it would never come. Now they're training in the midst of war. Every one of these skills, critical. Far away from the peace talks, they send a message to Russia's president. Chanting glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes, a straight shot from soldiers silently hoping the peace talks hit their mark. The Queen is back in the public eye after a bout of COVID, attending a memorial service for her late husband, Prince Philip. There were rare displays of emotion from the royal family and a surprise choice of companion from Her Majesty. As almost all of the senior members of the royal family arrived at Westminster Abbey, one question lingered. Would the head of the family be able to make it? The answer was at Buckingham Palace, crowds sprinting to catch a glimpse of a face not seen in public for almost six months. The Queen determined to keep her vow to be at her husband's memorial. But surprising many, her companion, her son, Prince Andrew, the first time he'd been seen publicly since being stripped of his royal titles and agreeing to a multi-million dollar settlement with sexual assault accuser Virginia Dufro. The Queen's unspoken message appeared to be family above all. Officially, this was a service of thanksgiving for Prince Philip. But for the hundreds of royal watchers lined up outside Westminster Abbey, they were thankful for the presence of the Queen. Well, she's walking with a walking stick, but she would not miss us for nothing. How important is it to you that Your Majesty is in there right now? Fantastic. Did you really disappoint us? The Queen has been here, of course, many times for the coronation, for her wedding, but not Philip's funeral. That was a lonely affair. Only 30 people allowed inside the Windsor Castle Chapel. This time, 1,800 people filled Westminster. Nobody would ever doubt his loyalty and deep devotion to our Queen and to their family. While this was a public memorial, it was the first real chance for a family to collectively grieve. And a hint of deeper sorrow as the crowd sang the national anthem to a Queen who'd lost her prince. Brett McLeod, NBN News. In just a moment, we're back live to Gavin Morris for more on the flood emergency. Also ahead, a Liberal senator launches a stinging attack on the PM. And four times the protection, the new vaccine here, just in time for flu season. every week at your local IGA. This week, pick up Makona Coffee 400 gram varieties, $18 each, and Kettle Chip Selected Varieties, $2.50 each, half price. Save every day at your local IGA. Hey, I'm Andy. Hey, Andy. And I'm Andy Standroff. 
Where my itch is at? Itch ruining your mood? That could be dandruff. Silence it. Head and Shoulders removes up to 100% of dandruff and itch. Head and Shoulders. Bobby Holland, hands in hand. Chris Hemsworth's good looking stun double. Compared to Hemsy, I'm way better than you. That's what Isolate's all about. If you want to try and find a better deal, talk to Isolate. That's confusing. Okay. Whoa. Chat with an iSelect consultant and you could save some serious cash over. Compare, select and save with iSelect. Introducing the Hyundai Kona. The ultimate expression of innovation. It takes the guesswork out of driving. Most styling features designed to stand out and puts a world of technology within reach. In other words, it's seriously fun. At Autobahn, you can save 25% this Friday and Saturday if you've been waiting for a new battery, all your car care gear, all Ryan Rack roof racks and accessories, 25% off these ranges, Friday and Saturday at Autobahn. Surprisingly, in business, you don't need to know everything about bookkeeping, BAS, PAYG, or even tax returns. Because Ashton Accountants are like your business accounting arm for all things finance and taxation. Ashton Accountants, Broadbeach. This May, people everywhere are getting ready for Australia's biggest morning tea. It could be a real team effort or something super simple. Host your morning tea your way. Every dollar you raise supports those impacted by cancer. Register today for your free host kit for Australia's biggest morning tea. Returning now to the flood emergency here in the Northern Rivers, where around me the flood waters just keep on rising. Tonight, a woman is still missing here in Lismore, while the residents of Byron Bay last night copped a deluge like no other. It was a deluge of deja vu, a shock double whammy belting our north coast and Lismore again in the firing line. Any work that's been done over the last four weeks has been most likely lost again today. The rain and rising waters cutting roads and families off and for those that had returned, a case of rinse and repeat. It's devastating, it's absolutely devastating. For Mark Bromley, the only way out was by boat. It's going to be a hard one to get back to after two in a row. North Lismore now a lake, homes and shops swallowed. The local levee topping over, unleashing a torrent of water into a town still draining after last month's catastrophe. No one could have predicted some of the amounts of rainfall that we've seen land. But some say they should have. On Tuesday, locals were told to evacuate around 1pm. By 4.30, authorities deemed the threat had diminished and they could return. But by 3.25, when most were asleep, they were again ordered out. At 6am, the SES conceding rain gauges around Lismore were off by almost half a metre. And at 8.40, warning the overtopping of Lismore levee was imminent. But safety sirens would not sound because of a malfunction. If we had a crystal ball, then the MDA make different decisions. The reality is you make your decisions based on the information that you have at the time. What we've seen again is a lack of coordination and miscommunication has created confusion for the communities. This is the Lismore Town Levy. It stands at 10.6 metres tall. Initially, authorities thought that it would stand firm, but with the torrential downpour overnight and massive amounts of water coming from upstream, it broke this morning, sending waves of water into the CBD. And the holiday havens of Byron Bay and Ballina woke to this. Main streets flooded as the rain kept falling. Water filling shops. That's the entrance to the pharmacy. And that's, whoo, down the main street of Byron Bay. Reaching the thighs of locals forced to wade through. It's up to my thighs. It's probably a metre and a half deeper, at the steepest, I'd say, down the main street. Unbelievable, never seen anything like it. Look at this car trying to get through. 
The rain bomb dumping two to three hundred mils in just one hour. A wheelchair-bound man evacuated by fire and rescue crews. No, it's devastating. Look at the place. It's a uh, late fire at the moment. In the suburb of Suffolk Park, pumps were in action as backyards became more like swimming pools. Inside, furniture piled up high. I came downstairs to make sure our windows were shut up and uh, yeah, down the water starting to lap on my feet. And Coffs Harbour also copped it, wedged between two major rain systems with catchments at capacity. And with more rain on the way, the water torture is far from finished. Sophie Upcroft, NBN News. Yes, that's absolutely right. Tash, on our way here, just a matter of an hour and a half, two hours ago, we drove through the devastated community of Woodburn. Residents were there out on the streets. Of course, there is just junk everywhere and the floodwaters are rising rapidly. These floodwaters coming up around my ankles still have to flow downstream overnight and throughout tomorrow. So, Tash, there is still a very big, dangerous 24-hour period ahead of them, I'm afraid. I thought to with everyone there. Thanks so much, Gav. A government senator has launched an extraordinary attack on Prime Minister Scott Morrison, branding him a bully, unfit to hold office. The public spray by Conchetta Ferravanti Wells highlighting a bitter internal feud. Senator Ferravanti Wells. Unfriendly fire, the target, the Prime Minister. Morrison is not fit to be Prime Minister. Senator Conchetta Ferravanti Wells laid bare an ugly factional brawl, and this was personal. It is his way or the highway. An autocrat, a bully who has no moral compass. A few days ago, the Liberal veteran was dumped to an unwinnable spot on the Liberal Party's Senate ticket. She's angry at the selection process, which has taken power away from members and given it to Scott Morrison and New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet. A Prime Minister trying to sell a budget, forced to defend himself. She's been similarly disappointed after uh, in, in the past with my predecessors. But the stinging attack could cut deep because it's come from a once close colleague and echoes Labor's cries the Prime Minister cannot be trusted. He has used his so-called faith as a marketing advantage. A damning character assessment timed with an election to be called within days when voters will decide who do they trust to run the country. In my public life, I have met ruthless people. Morrison tops the list. When people are disappointed, then they will, they will say things, and I, I understand that. Jonathan Kersley, NBN News. Violence has broken out in Israel for the fifth time in a fortnight, with a Palestinian gunman killing five people in a city outside Tel Aviv. The man was filmed shooting at pedestrians and motorists before police took him down. UK police have issued 20 fines over the Downing Street party gate scandal, which saw government officials attend social gatherings in breach of COVID lockdown rules. Officers will not identify who received the fines. To finance in the Australian share market has recorded its seventh rise in a row. Here's business reporter Chris Kohler. There was a warm glow on the market the day after the budget. In fact, the ASX is back above 7,500 points for the first time since the start of the year. Tech shares were strong, miners ticked lower once again, and Telstra slipped on word its CEO is retiring. Shares in family tracking app Life360 were the best performers, and Telex Pharmaceuticals brought up the rear today. Commodity markets were steep, despite headlines pointing to negotiations between Russia and Ukraine, and the Aussie dollar topped 75 US cents once again, it's also buying 67 euro cents and 57 British pence. Four times the protection against four different strains. That's the promise regarding a new flu vaccine which has just hit our shores. And it's not a moment too soon with doctors warning we're facing a potentially severe and unpredictable season ahead. As our post-COVID emergence continues, Aussies are reaching to stretch their legs. In five weeks' time, we're hoping to be in Italy to travel around Tuscany and then the Italian lakes, and then after that, it's Croatia. With plans like that, David Briggs has no time to get sick. Hi, Dave. Are you here for the vaccine today? Sure. So the 63-year-old is one of the first patients in Australia to roll up for a new high-dose influenza vaccine. Fluzone has four times the antigens of a standard dose and covers four different strains available now to over 60s for $65.
And that means those that are 60 or older will get a better immune response from that vaccine to the standard one. So it just comes down to maximum protection because we want to be as risk-free as possible. For two years, COVID lockdowns and social distancing measures have also kept flu infections at bay, and that means our herd immunity is low, leaving us at risk of a major resurgence this season. I'm particularly concerned that this year will be severe. We've seen a range of virus strains overseas, but that includes the influenza A H3N2 strain, and we know that is the one that puts older people into hospital. And when combined with COVID, so-called flu rona could present a double threat. Get your flu vaccination. Don't forget if you haven't had your COVID-19 booster as well, you can get them administered and it's recommended to get them administered on the same day. As easy as one, two, and you're good to go. It's lit, here we come. Liz Daniels, NBN News. I'd like to win. Yeah. Time now for sport with Mitchell Hughes and Mitch. The Knights Tyson Frizzell is preparing to mark a pretty nice milestone. It certainly is, and we've been given an insight into life away from the league. Thanks, Tash. After the break, we sit down with the Frizzell family ahead of Tyson's 200th game. And more pressure on Graham Arnold after another Socceroos loss. Want to live every day like you're on holiday? Well, now you can at Living Gems Over 50s Lifestyle Resorts. Call 13 Gems to start living your life today. Get your all is worth the Easter with great specials like Cadbury Crate 170-gram 10-pack, now $3.75 each. That's half price. It's just another way to get your all is worth. All ready to go. Coles Car Insurance is full of nice surprises. Like the fact that last year we paid out 99% of car claims. So you can get back to what really counts. Coles. Value the Australian way. Ordinary toothbrushes can leave up to half the plaque behind. Switch to electric with Oral-B Vitality Electric Toothbrush from Chemist Warehouse. The iconic round brush head cups each tooth, cleaning deep between teeth and is clinically proven to remove 100% more plaque than a regular toothbrush. Get the number one toothbrush brand used by dentists worldwide. Switch to Oral-B Vitality Electric Toothbrush, only $19.99 at Chemist Warehouse. Live, look, feel well at Chemist Warehouse. There's a glass and a half in everyone. Bobby Holland, handsome here. Chris Hemsworth's good looking stunt double. Compared to Hemsy, I'm way better than you. That's what Isolate's all about. If you want to try and find a better deal, talk to Isolate. What's my name? I'm April 1st. Some health insurance providers are in crazy premiums and some aren't. That's confusing. Okay. Whoa. Chat with an iSelect consultant and you could save some serious cash over. Compare, select and save with iSelect. This May, people everywhere are getting ready for Australia's biggest morning tea. It could be a real team effort or something super simple. Host your morning tea your way. Every dollar you raise supports those impacted by cancer. Register today for your free host kit for Australia's biggest morning tea. Time for a better mattress? Save at Bedship with all Sleep Maker mattresses reduced to half price. Then save again with up to 30% off all bedroom furniture. Bedship. No one's better in the bedroom. Over 11 seasons in the NRL, Tyson Frizzell has established himself as one of the game's best back rowers. With his young family by his side, the 30-year-old will mark a milestone this Friday night at the ground where it all began. For the Frizzells, rugby league is a family affair. Very lucky to be able to play um, rugby league for a living and to be able to Punch out 200 games is a, a, a nice milestone. Alongside wife Sammy, three-year-old Axton and one-year-old Easton, Tyson is loving life. He pretty much switches on to dad mode and 
yeah, he's out the backyard and, you know, there's no real downtime with young kids. The Brazils juggle rugby league with their kids' clothing line, East Axe, which they launched in March last year. A year into it and it's going really well, so yeah, keeps us busy. The photogenic Brazil boys are, of course, the perfect models. Their assistant could use some work, though. I'm just like a... A helping hand at the moment. <laughs> he is definitely a perfectionist. I don't know if that's good or a bad thing, but if he's packing an order, usually you kind of pack, pack, and you're done in like five seconds. Tyson takes forever. Everything has to be perfect, the sticker, the right thing. So he'll do one order that will take an hour. But the help is it's great, but like, yeah. I stick to footy at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> when the Knights run out onto Shark Park on Friday night, it'll be a full circle moment for Frizzell, who started his NRL career in the Shire back in 2011. For myself, I just hope that we can um, play well as a team first and um, you know, the result will look after itself. The 30-year-old has plenty left in the tank too. The body feels well. Um, it's in good nick and... Um, you know, hopefully I can you know, have, a, have a few more games on the belt and reach some more milestones. Kate Haberfield, NBN News. Mitch Barnett has been rubbed out for six weeks after that brain explosion in the Knights' loss to the Panthers. Barnett was sent off after elbowing Penrith player Chris Smith and sent straight to the judiciary. He pleaded guilty, telling last night's hearing it was a careless act rather than intentional. Barnett will be able to return for the Knights in round 10. Australia's unbeaten run of the Women's One Day World Cup has extended to eight matches and taken it all the way to the final. Alyssa Healy belted 129 off 107 balls against the West Indies in Wellington. The Windies had little hope of chasing down the Aussie total of 305 with fielding like this screamer from Beth Mooney. Australia will meet either South Africa or England in Sunday's decider. A century to Travis Head has helped Australia's men to a thumping victory in the first one day against Pakistan in Lahore. He hammered 101 from just 72 balls in the tourist total of 7 for 313. Head also chimed in with two wickets as Australia won by 88 runs. A needless penalty has seen the Socceroos suffer another World Cup qualifying defeat. The 1-0 loss in the dead rubber against Saudi Arabia heaps more pressure on coach Graham Arnold ahead of the must-win playoff against the UAE in June. Meanwhile, Liverpool star Mo Salah was one of several Egyptian players targeted with lasers during the penalty shootout against Senegal. The fans' tactic worked with Egypt missing three of its four spot kicks and failing to qualify for Qatar. Coming up next, a big name upstaged at Surfest. Guardian protects you from frequent heartburn for 24 hours, so you can be protected here, 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 and here. That's mine, Colin. Try Guardian Acid Reflux Relief. It feels good to plug into carbon neutral internet that's easy on your wallet. Because we all care about trees, and our wallets, and trees, and dolphins. And waterfalls, and frogs, frogs, and our wallets, and trees, and whatever this is. Switch your NBN service today. Specials like Cadbury Crate 170 gram 10 pack, now $3.75 each. That's half price. It's just another way to get your woolies wet. The Combank Next Chapter Commitment. We believe in a brighter future for all. That's why we're committed to helping end financial abuse. Anyone who has been financially controlled, tracked or abused can access confidential support through free one-on-one -on -one financial coaching tools and assistance no matter who you bank with. To learn more, search ComBank Next Chapter. Together, we can help end financial abuse. Take the 
infusion out of buying a bed with Bedmatch at 40 Winks. Our exclusive system calculates your support needs so we can find the best mattress from our range of leading brands. Bedmatch, only at 40 Winks. Serious about sleep. Every 33 minutes, someone's life is turned upside down by epilepsy. You can help turn things around. Fundraise. Start conversations. Donate. Visit makemarchpurple.org.au today. percent Australian energy at your new place? Well, the power is in your hands. Move with red energy. This report brought to you by Sportsbets, Bet with Mates. Start a group today. Julian Wilson's return to competitive surfing has been overshadowed by two young guns from northern New South Wales. The defending champion registered the highest wave of his heat at surface, a 5.6, but his backup score of 2.7 left him vulnerable. Meriwether board rider Mike Clayton Brown threw down the goal. That's how you want to start a heat against former world number two Julian Wilson. Clayton Brown and Angowry's Chris Zaffis eventually eliminated Wilson from the contest. Earlier, current World Tour competitors Federico Moray from Portugal and Leonardo Fioravanti from Italy advanced to the round of 32. Several North Coast surfers have impressed the judges in today's QS events in Newcastle. The Tweeds' Zali Kelly and Lennox Head's Nixie Ryan just won their heats to progress to the round of 32. Caius King was the best placed in the men's early rounds, also moving through, but Stu Kennedy's luck ran out, eliminated from the round of 64, with a combined wave total of just 5.5. Wind and rain do not make for ideal beach volleyball conditions. Still, those competing in the World Pro Tour Futures event are making the most of conditions at Coolangatta. It definitely makes it tricky. It definitely changes the game a lot. But I'm just enjoying being out here and competing again after, after two years of not a lot of competition with COVID. The Warhope Blues will hope to replicate last year's strong form in 2022, but it won't be easy with the club without some of its biggest stars. The Warhope Blues are hoping for a full 14 rounds of footy this season. With Group 3 cancelled in 2020 and the finals in 2021, Captain Coach Matthew Bird is setting his sights on the prize. We'll focus on the semis first and then, and then we'll look to take the after grand finals. We always want to keep that minor premiership. Um, it's a good thing for, the, for not just the club, but the town. The Blues will be looking to take the title without the likes of Tony Thompson, Tristan Scott and Casey Morgan. Captain coach Matthew Bird filling critical gaps with emerging young players. We've got a few good young fellas coming through, which will be their turn to step up. They've got some pretty big boots to fill, but we're excited to get those boys in. The plan this season, not just to have replacements, but build consistency in the club. Try and keep those young fellas coming through so that it sort of secures a good, good future in the years to come. Wet weather continues to impact training, but not the players' determination ahead of kickoff. Just keeping everyone fit and everyone um, keen to play footy, I think that's the hardest part of coaching is actually keeping everyone happy and um, keen to play. The Group 3 season begins on April 30th. Gemma Pepper, NBN News. Manning Valley Race Club has a new Chief Executive, former Mid-North Coast steward Jack Penfold, stepping into the role. Handing over the reins of Manning Valley Race Club. Jack Penfold this week settling in as its new Chief Executive. A new challenge, a new role, so very excited to uh, meet and greet the Tauri trainers. Originally from Tamworth, he entered the industry a decade ago as a part-time steward. Then went to Sydney and did a cadetship, then back to Tamworth as a uh, second in charge there. I've been the Chief Steward of the Mid-North Coast area for about five years now. Taking over from Helen Sinclair, Penfold is hitting the ground running and has grand plans for the future. I get a, a bigger crowd to the races, a younger generation coming to the races, uh, looking after the Tauri trainers, so they, they've got a good level playing field to be uh, the best uh, along the coast. 
The Tari track, a favourite among stables statewide, and he wants to keep it that way. I think it's one of the best on the coast. Uh, Scott Olsen does a good job uh, looking after the track here. It's been a whirlwind few months, also becoming a new dad. I live at Port Macquarie, but I will travel down every day and uh, can do that in 40 minutes. And he'll have to wait a bit longer for his first race meeting in charge. Saturday's Wingham Beef Exports Wingham Tigers Cup race day cancelled this afternoon due to torrential rain. Racing returns to the track on May 2. Rob Douglas, NBN News. That's, that's a little bit sport. Thank you, Mitch. All the weather details up next. So your floors looking warm. We needed the floors restored because we have thousands and thousands of feet across these floors. We chose Electric Drive Restore for their price, their fast, and at last. As a business, we can't afford downtime. They were quick, efficient, and we're walking on these floors within a day. I'd be more than happy to recommend Electric Dry Restore to any business. Easter eggs, straight to your boot. That's cute. Holiday fun, delivered with a hot cross bun. Order by 1pm for same day direct to boot or delivery. Shopping your way. That's today's fresh food people. I don't get out a great deal. I always make a point of, of waiting for Peter to contact me. Having the conversations about his care is so important. Like we just don't do it or we put it off. A conversation about care can bring you closer. Call Aveo today. really want a cigarette, definitely after dinner. I'd finish eating and <laughs> I'd just reach for the car. It's just what I did. I called the quitline counsellor and he suggested different things to do. So now, I'll go and brush my teeth instead. Beat cravings one at a time. Click or call to quit. Search I can quit or call a counsellor at quitline. What's the essence of herbal essences? We use real botanicals like real aloe and vanilla honey. Herbal essences helps to moisturize hair from root to tip with 0% sulfates, parabens, and silicones, so we can deliver plant power in every shower. Bobby Holland, hands in hand. Chris Hemsworth's good looking stunt double. Compared to Hemsy, I'm way better value. That's what Isolate's all about. If you want to try and find a better deal, talk to Isolate. <laughs> That's confusing. Okay. Whoa. Chat with an iSelect consultant, you could save some serious cash over. Compare, select, and save with iSelect. Transform your living space with award winning Australian design and king craftsmanship. Why buy ordinary furniture when you can come home to King? Home sale on now. This is your Australia Zoo. Meet our majestic elephants. Watch Yowens feed the crops. Take on our epic obstacle course. And embark on a treasure hunt of discovery at Australia Zoo. This report brought to you by King Autumn Sale. On now. The flood threat is easing for southeast Queensland tonight. The Narang and Cooma rivers have just about peaked, according to the Bureau, as rain eases across the catchment. Thick cloud in southeast Queensland and eastern New South Wales in a deepening low is generating heavy rain and isolated storms. And as we've seen, widespread flooding affects this region and many warnings are current. Tomorrow, the low should deepen as it moves away and combined with a firming high bringing strong winds to coastal regions and ramping up those surf conditions with large waves expected right along the New South Wales coast. Oh, good so good today, we had some glimpses yep. of sunshine across the region. Uh -huh. 25 degrees was the day's top on the Gold Coast. Brisbane topped out today at 27 degrees. And the temperatures on the rise again. Rabina 28 degrees, the same for surface paradise on the Gold Coast, 22 27. Just a little bit of cloud around the Coomera and 28 degrees will be your max. 
There is a strong wind warning as southwesterlies come through tomorrow. Seas on the Gold Coast three metres and the swell up to four metres. On the Byron Coast, it's a gale wind warning to be aware of. Tidal information, there is a high at 7.48 in the morning, a low at 1.16 in the morning. Sunrise tomorrow is at 5.26. Let's look further ahead on the Gold Coast, mostly sunny days ahead and temperatures remaining fairly warm for the coming week. There's a chance of rain, but at this stage it's only looking slight, only a few mils here or there, and that looks to be the pattern right into next week. And in Brisbane, temperatures reaching into the high 20s again. We can see just the chance of that rain sticking around. It's only a slight chance, only a few mils in it, and temperatures warming up once again. You can see by Monday up to 29 degrees, return to rain by Wednesday. Updating our earlier story now, and the woman missing in floodwaters south of Lismore has been named by police as Anita Brackle, a 55-year-old aged care nurse. A search began just before 10 last night. She was in a white Holden Captiva at the time. And that is NBN News for this Wednesday. Tracy is next with A Current Affair. Good night. Somehow as a human being reminded us to make the most of every single second. Man, he sucked the marrow out of life. He was a great friend, a great teammate. He loved his fans, he loved the game of cricket, he loved his family, he loved life. There's no one like him, really, and there never will be again. We will miss you. Okay, this song is in memory of saying probably one of the greatest sportsmen ever and certainly one of the most amazing Australian cricketers of all time. It's a sad day today, but it's not in some other ways because his legacy lives on and he will live on through future generations because he was mesmerizing, he was brilliant and he loved to play cricket and he loved life. I want to uh, dedicate this song to the Brook, to Summer and Jackson and to all the people that came out today. God bless you, Sam. God bless the family. Here we go.
not a performance in the United States from Sir Elton John, a great cricket lover and supporter of so many people and causes over the years. Thank you so much, Elton. Amazing stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, the flags have changed cricket teams over the years are flying high tonight at the MCG. At the Ponsford Stand Inn, the flag of the East Sandringham Junior Club, where it all started, the St Kilda Cricket Club, the mighty Melbourne Stars and Victoria. And at the putt road end, his international teams, the famous Rajasthan Royals, his beloved London Spirit, Hampshire, and of course, Australia, where he became a legend of the game. There is no doubt whatever in my mind that Shane Moore is the best leg spinner of his age that I've ever seen. He's the best thing that's happened to the game of cricket for very, very many years. I wanted to make every single ball an event. When I was on the field, I was in charge. He's had the greatest influence outside Sir Donald Bradman on the game of cricket ever. Shane Warne will never be replaced. He has that quality that the great athletes have, like Tiger Woods, like Muhammad Ali. And he was box office. When Warne emerged, he's the best thing that happened to cricket for a long time. Oh, it's a wonderful delivery from Shane Warne. because I never knew what it was going to bring. As a cricket captain, you couldn't ask for a greater person to have than Shane Moore. That sort of journey and that life to actually play with some of the great players that have played the game is a wonderful privilege for me, and cricket has never, ever been a job to me. One of the major reasons why I've been successful is I think because of my attitude. Give me the ball, I'll do it. I wasn't afraid. I was a man on a mission. There is always something which is going to happen between a batter and a chain. And it's worn again. Hard spun. Fraction shorter, fraction quicker. Rips across him. Beats his outside. Yes, he does. Takes the outside edge. Amazing. This man. building, the ovation I got when I walked out on the ground, it was so quiet, it was a bit eerie, and when you got to the top of the mark, it was suddenly a hush, because they thought, oh, is this going to be the ball that's going to take a seven moment? position will worry about what I can do. Watch out the slide right in there. Fast. Shade Warren India was massive. I have never witnessed anything like the magician of Shane Warren. I was captain, I was coach. all the big name players. It was exciting. G'day. Thank the Warren family for the 
privilege of being up here to introduce some absolute superstars of world cricket. Jack Howie young bloke was down in the MCG chain rooms an hour ago and he said, mate, just have fun. That's how Dad would like it, so that's what we're going to try and do. And give it up as I introduce these gentlemen. A man that captained Shane in his very first test match, an icon of world cricket, Alan Borders with us. Thanks, Alan. Thank you. Beside Alan, a man that captained Shane in 42 test matches and Warnie loved his attacking flair. Mark Taylor is with us. Thanks, Mark. A fella that was the king of the MCG before Warnie arrived. They loved him here, they still love him because he's a Victorian. Merv Hughes is with us. <laughs> the old enemy, former captain of England who played 17 Ashes tests against Shane and spent the last 10 years broadcasting with him in the UK. NASA Hussain has made the trip to Australia. And a gentleman that made 277 against the Australians and Shane at the SCG. An incomparable batsman, Brian Charles Lara is with us as well. Okay, we've got the formalities out of the way. Before we get going, AB, it'd be fair to say there's a few nerves in the sheds before we came out here. Yeah, a few pre-match uh, jitters for sure. I, I think I'd rather be facing Kirby Ambrose out there at the moment than uh, doing what they're doing. But yeah, a bit, bit nervous, but uh, you know, happy to sort of uh, send off you know, our great mate in this way. Well, we're going to tell a few stories about you, mate. But before we do that, we'll start with you and then I'll ask all you gentlemen, if you could have one word to describe Wardy, what would it be? Genius. I'd say genuine. Bogan. <laughs> Dead set Bogan. <laughs> Dead set Bogan. That's two or three words, but I like it. <laughs> uh, well, he nicked genius. I'll go entertainer. He entertained us. Uh, definitely say the king. The king, yeah, I think the king's a great one. Well, AB, we'll start with you. We'll hear some stories about Warnie. You were lucky enough to play cricket with him all around the world, including South Africa. When did you realise that Shane wasn't your stock standard brilliant test cricketer? Well, my memories of that 94 uh, South African tour in particular you talk about, uh, it was my last tour as an uh, Australian cricket player. Uh, we uh, started the tour off in uh, Pretoria playing against uh, the Nicky Oppenheimer uh, 11. Um, uh, if you don't know the Nicky Oppenheimer name, he was uh, the Beers Diamonds uh, company, so a, a very wealthy individual, uh, but a, a big, big cricket fan. And uh, this particular day, I don't remember too much about the game itself, but uh, the, the challenge was out, off, uh, put to me of a game of golf against Nicky Oppenheimer, right. his CEO, and myself, and of course my partner had to be Shane Warne. <laughs> so anyway, the, the next day turns up after the match, we, we go to this beautiful golf course for, for the big match against uh, Oppenheimer, he's the CEO, and uh, Shane himself. And uh, uh, the game's going on well, there's good banter happening, and uh, then Nicky uh, noticed uh, that uh, Shane had a little sort of uh, diamond stud. <laughs> Uh, in his ear, and um, of course he started to have a look at it and said, well, I don't know if that's a real diamond, Shane, it looks like a zircon to me. <laughs> okay, that grog warned you up and the band has started from there. And Introducing the T-Bone Massage Gym. It's a full body massage gym with luxurious robotic hands that can put your mind and body in an amazing stress-free state of relaxation so it can properly repair and heal itself without ever leaving your home. 
The secret is the intelligent biomagnetic circuit that scans and measures the unique shape of your body, including your all-important pressure points. Then the luxurious robotic hands deliver a custom 3D massage that's designed to reduce tension and anxiety, plus rejuvenate sore muscles after workouts. Most massage chairs have rollers that are on a fixed vertical track. This limits the amount of pressure point areas they can reach. But the Tebow chair features L and S track technology, so the robotic hands follow the curvature of your spine with an up and down, side to side, and forward and back motion. And best of all, the 3D technology, plus 60 air cushion massages, provides stress and tension relief to multiple parts of your body simultaneously. The Tebow chair also features zero gravity, magnetic therapy, far infrared heat, Bluetooth, negative oxygen ions, and voice control technology. The average cost of a massage is over $70 an hour, but you can own the Tebow massage chair and use it anytime. And there are two models available, so there's one to fit your needs and your budget. But wait, be one of the first 60 to call, and you'll also receive this cordless, rechargeable back, neck, and shoulder massage, a $249 value, absolutely free. But you must call now on 1-800-335-335. This offer is not available in stores, so call 1-800-335-335 right now. Has your life been turned upside down by a work accident? Talk to Australia's number one plaintiff law firm. Morris Blackburn Lawyers will maximise your claim so you can get on with your life again. Call us now. It costs nothing to know where you stand. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water. Here? Jaws is back. Sharks don't take things personally, Mr. Burton. And hungry for revenge. Jaws 2, tonight on Nine Go. Nine News app. Access all the news you'll ever need when you want it. At your fingertips with the free Nine News app. Knock, knock. Sunday, the real dinner party. If I heard on flight, where'd you get those teeth? I'll eat for two dollars. Savory, 
Destructive wet weather system continued to track south today with the heaviest falls from Kempsey down. The northern rivers had a break, but of course the flooding dramas are far from over. Cloud over eastern New South Wales, wind and road, driving strong winds and showers towards the east coast, and they've been heaviest today about the central areas. So today the rain eased in the north and the temperatures rose again there. Further south, there have been some heavy falls. The low has been deepening as it moves away and combining with a large firming high causing brisk winds in the country's south and showers again about the coast. The low will maintain large waves on the New South Wales coast. So looking to tomorrow, the Hunter and Central Coast regions are expected to bear the brunt of the wet weather. We can see there up to 35 millimetres is expected. Please join us for all of your local details coming up in the news at 6. Why does the bank need to know about us? Nah. Is that yours? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. the most of your super moment with a long-term top performing fund. It's Australian, it's super, and it's yours. There are hundreds of specials every week at your local IGA. This week, pick up Makona Coffee 400 gram varieties, $18 each. And Kettle Chip Selected Varieties, $2.50 each. Half price. Save every day at your local IGA. Spotlight, we've got your windows covered with 50% off all retail and lockout curtains and lines. 50% off lightning lockout roller lines and 50% off neutral curtains and lines. Save the cover and decorate with a keep it toasty for less. Sale on now at Spotlight. It's what you make it. Ah, no building. Getting the right amount of the right materials and the right time is vital. Get it wrong, you're in a world of earth. That's why Williams developed the whole of our system for a smooth build. The Williams Hole in Our System is your safety net. No last minute orders. We know what you need. We'll have it waiting and it comes with huge advantages on your cash flow. Discover the power of the Williams Hole in Our System. A simply better way to build. This May, people everywhere are getting ready for Australia's biggest morning tea. It can be a real team effort or something super simple. your way. Every dollar you raise supports those impacted by cancer. Register today for your free host kit for Australia's biggest morning tea. Oh, what's up? Oh, it's just my, uh, super so you did get the app after all. Oh, oh, so you your super moment. Stay on top of things with the Australian Super App. It's Australian, it's super, and it's yours. Coming up in NBN News tonight, devastating scenes in Lismore as locals wait for water levels to recede after the town was struck by a second major flood in a matter of weeks. Gavin Morris with the latest from the flood zone tonight. A race to clean up for businesses in Byron Bay, the iconic beach town preparing to welcome Easter holiday makers in just two weeks' time. Thousands of nurses and midwives walk off the job in a 24-hour strike demanding better paying conditions. Hollywood star Bruce Willis to quit acting following a shock medical diagnosis. And the wild weather puts Surfest on hold, the coast copying heavy winds and rough surf. All those stories and more coming up NBN News tonight at 6.
morning. It's a celebration of the life of a legend. We love you! The Today Show with Carl and Ellie. Get ready to blast off with Aussie Gun and the Lottery Office. And you can win over $250 million with your telly and super jackpot. Hurry, Capos are tapping out tonight. Download the app or visit lotteryoffice.com.au. Ten essential vitamins and minerals. Low GI, protein, high fiber. It's amazing what they squeeze into an up and go. We squeeze more good stuff in so you can get more out. This winter, like Folding Immune Combat, Cedarville Optimal Hydration Cream, and Centrum Collagen Boost and Glow. Get real deals every day at Timmy White Kenmart. Now that's real chemistry. We're being twisted. Craving the palm Extra gravy on the side. Who are keen to make a suicide? M E N U L O G. Your Easter escape at Anaconda. Spinifex Mawson 8 person tent. Half price. Play tight bike with blue mold table. 60% off. Play more and pay less with our 10% price fee guarantee. Anaconda. Jaws is back and hungry for revenge. Jaws 2 tonight. Oh, we're watching that, mate.
smart or veggie, get wholesome recipes and fresh ingredients that everyone will enjoy. Order your box now at hellofresh.com.au. New clothes make us feel good, but that feeling fades. So we throw out about 23 kilos a year, adding to the 6,000 kilos dumped in Australia every 10 minutes. But if we take care of our clothes with the help of Vanish, which removes tough stains better than detergent alone, plus removes odors and brightest colors, we can rewear our clothes for longer and help keep them out of landfill. That feels pretty damn good. Clothes live longer with Vanish. The V8, the flat six, the single cylinder. Amplify premium fuels clean and protect your engine so you use less fuel and do more clicks with every tick. Amplify, Australia's own. What are you doing? Fantastic furniture. Find your fantastic. Just can't believe that was me. I've lost 20 kilos with the lady shake and I've never felt better. If I can do it, you can do it. Start the journey today. Save 25% off at theladyshake.com.au. This program brought to you by Harvey Norman for everything you need. Furniture, bedding, electrical and technology. Coming up in NBA News tonight, devastating scenes in this war as locals wait for water levels to recede after the town was struck by a second major flood in a matter of weeks. Gavin Morris with the latest from the flood zone tonight. A race to clean up for businesses in Byron Bay, the iconic beach town preparing to welcome Easter holiday makers in just two weeks' time. Thousands of nurses and midwives walk off the job in a 24-hour strike demanding better pay and conditions. Hollywood star Bruce Willis to quit acting following a shock medical diagnosis. And the wild weather puts surf fest on hold, the coast copping heavy winds and rough surf. All those stories and more coming up NBN News tonight at 6. Those years on tour were crazy. I reckon I spent more time on the road than I ever did at home. So it's nice to finally spend some time in it. If you're like me and driving less these days, AB's comprehensive car insurance will reward you with a drive less, pay less discount on your premiums. Get a quote today. Call Apia on 13 50 50. Hungry Jack's Hunger Tamers. Get a pork belly deluxe, barbecue cheeseburger, chips, free nuggets, spicy sauce and a drink. Fill up with the new Hunger Tamers Pork Belly Deluxe at Hungry Jack's. The burgers are pork better. belly. What? You heard me. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. You are. Your pork belly. MGZST is the more you've been looking for. Guardian protects you from frequent heartburn for 24 hours, so you can be protected here, 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 and here. That's mine, Colin. Try Guardian Acid Reflux Relief. On now at Harvey Norman, get 60 months interest free. No deposit, no interest with 60 approximately equal monthly payments from Latitude. Shop a huge range of lounge and dining furniture, mattresses and bedroom furniture, computers and technology, TVs and entertainment, the latest appliances for your home and so much more. Everything you need for your home and lifestyle at Harvey Norman. Take advantage of 60 months interest free. No deposit, no interest with 60 approximately equal monthly payments from Latitude. Available now at Harvey Norman. Get your Woolies worth the Easter with great specials like Cadbury Crate 170 gram 10 pack, now $3.75 each. That's half price. It's just another way to get your Woolies worth. Uncle Johnny's pride and joy, failing to start. Bright's temperature, rising. No steam, flat battery, most likely. Alternate transport, cousin Lily's late 80s Japanese street bike, unsuitable. Thankfully, car covered with GIO road services. Everything's going to be fine. Someone's already on the way. If you buy a new GIO comprehensive car insurance policy right now, you'll get 12 months optional free roadside assist. So if your battery goes flat, you know you're covered. Queensland superstars fire up. Yes! Watch out, Tigers. Tigers, tonight on 9. 
In NBN News tonight, the Northern Rivers begins to assess the damage of its second major flood in four weeks. There's more locals tonight waiting for water levels to recede. Businesses race to clean up in Byron Bay ahead of the Easter holidays. And peace talks in tatters as Russia continues shelling Ukraine. Jaws is back and hungry for revenge. Jaws 2, tonight on oh my God. Create your space with Freedom's autograph sofa range. Choose from over 30 fabrics and leathers and customize the design to suit you. Right now, save 20% across the entire range. Designed by you, made by us, only at Freedom. Don't be a tosser if it's not in the bin. It's on you. Don't be a tosser if it's not in the bin. It's on you. At Neurofen, we know relieving body pain helps you to keep doing what you love. So try the power of Neurofen 12 hours for all day and night pain relief up to 12 hours. Neurofen, leave the pain to us. Australia is making positive energy. It's all part of our plan to reach net zero by 2050. We're investing billions in projects like climate change, which means more jobs and innovations, which are all about 2050. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just went and got some milk. Cocoa pops, just like a chocolate milkshake, only crunchy, available in gluten free. <laughs> when my family can't make up their minds, I like to keep things easy at the drive through with one simple order. Welcome to my world. The Look Value Bundle for just $24.95. New ferry, built in pre wash power. Rehydrates, lifts, and breaks down. Okay, it rehydrates and lifts. And it cleans everything. It even cleans your filter too. New ferry, built in pre wash power. Try it to believe it. Plan your Easter escape at Anaconda. Seaflow at Old Kayak and Seaplay Power Bundle, $199. Wheel up Summer Beach Wagon, $89. Play more and pay less without 10% price speed guarantee. This is your Australia Zoo. Meet our majestic elephants. Watch Yo and feed the crocs. Take on our epic obstacle course. And embark on a treasure hunt of discovery at Australia Zoo. Budget director Australia is supposed to walk with his car in Holy Europe. That's more awards than any or you. And now we can start in Shore of the Year. It's time you switch to Budget Direct. Hands in hand, press Hemsworth's good looking stun double. That's Hemsing, 
I'm way better than you. That's what I select's all about. If you want to try and find a better deal, talk to Tyson. <laughs> Turn your home into a cinema with Optus Subhub and Netflix. Enjoy fast, reliable home internet and entertainment for everyone with Netflix included on the Optus Entertainer Plan. It starts with yes. When you sweat like a dude, produce oil like a dude, you get dandruff like a dude. We call it dandruff. Dandruff. <laughs> Hidden shoals ultra men with activated carbon. Find dandruff like a dude. We should be called dandruff. No. It should be called dandruff. Not dandruff. No, dandruff. It really is a great rate. Plus, no monthly fees, no annual fees, and no establishment fees. To save, talk with our home loan experts and gain your greater advantage with Greater Bank. At COVID-19 Booster, have you had yours? It won't just reduce your risk of serious illness, it'll help protect everyone you love. So come on, New South Wales, let's do this. Book your booster today at msw.gov.au. Coming up in NBN News, the latest on the flood situation on the far north coast. The SES receiving more than 100 calls for help. And in sport, the latest ahead of the Titans clash with the Tigers. Details next. The Titans? Hey. I'm watching you. Yeah. Felicity considered cheap home insurance that promised big cover. When it comes to the important stuff, don't risk mark and regret. Go here instead. Worried about cheap insurance? Who offers great value cover you won't regret? Amy does. All that rubbish sorted in one trip? Impressive. Though not as impressive as using Finnish Ultimate Pro to take care of tough 24 hour glide on stains without lifting a sponge. So rethink hand washing and save up to 200 litres of water a week by using your dishwasher instead. For our best clean and shine, use Finnish Ultimate Pro. Three, two, one. throughout the day. Try this. Unlike regular collagen, it's easily absorbed. New Olay Collagen Peptide. Pull up and bouncy skin all day long. You will be on us the weekend before it starts tonight. A weekend start. Monster Rose. The time is an entitled Tigers West Tigers. Then tomorrow, a superstar showdown. Clear is back. The Panthers take on the Rabbitohs, the Mega Grand Final Rematch. A massive weekend of footy starts tonight, live on 9. Brought to you by Harvey Norman. <laughs> 
for everything you need. Furniture, bedding, electrical and technology. Tonight, the sad and slow flood cleanup begins on the far north coast. Thousands of nurses and midwives walk off the job. Ukraine peace talks in tatters. And why Hollywood heavyweight Bruce Willis is quitting? That's next. Tonight, Lismore locals begin counting the cost of the city's second devastating flood. The race to clean up Byron Bay before the Easter break. New South Wales nurses walk off the job for the second time in seven weeks. A helicopter with five people on board crashes in thick bushland. And Australia and the world bids an emotional goodbye to Shane Moore. This is NBN News. Good evening. Well, the floodwaters are slowly beginning to recede here in Lismore, but the disaster is far from over. For the second time in a month, the Northern Rivers has been completely devastated. Tonight, there are thousands still without power and the communities have been completely cut off. But every, ever so slowly, some of the residents have been allowed to trickle back in and see what's left. Lake Lismore still submerged this second blow, hitting hard. It's starting to rip people's hearts out, like, it's like, it's just, it's getting too much. Homes swallowed in last month's deluge, surrounded by water again. Precious possessions still sitting on the curb. And these are the family photos you There's lost? More family, yeah, yeah. This is only this week's stuff that we keep bringing out here for them to get rid of and stuff, you know, it's, it's pretty hard. A beer in hand and putting on a brave face, like many, Matt Lewis and his neighbour Steve are waiting for the water to go down to start clean up 2.0. Michelle Cormick wading into her home. Inside, there's not much left, but she's determined to stay. This is still my home. Yeah. No, no. There we walls again. Refusing to let the disaster get her down. Water front views, but not quite the water that you'd like. Downstream, the devastation is just as raw. Four generations of the Rose family have lost four homes. 15 of them now living in caravans at Tucky Tucky. We're a strong family unit. We'll work that out and also um, start to rebuild, hopefully. The true toll of this double disaster is not yet clear. Businesses in the CBD are still underwater. So were the hardest hit homes. It will be at least a couple of days before they can get back in to see if there's anything left. There's still no trace of 55-year-old aged care nurse Anita Brackle, believed to be missing in floodwaters south of Lismore. The riverine threat is certainly not over at this point in time. The emergency moving south, soaking Maxville, the lower levels of homes inundated, street signs almost swallowed. <laughs> Adam Simmons shows how high the water came on his internal garage door. It was a sleepless night for many. But you just don't know what to say anymore. They said it's just getting worse and worse every year. And a big day of cleaning up and carrying on. Sophie Upcroft, NBN News. Right now, let's go to Gracie Richter, who is in Lismore. Gracie, what's the latest? Jack, the Wilsons River peaked at 11.4 metres. It's currently sitting just below 10 metres, so it is receding. This comes as there's still eight evacuation orders in place affecting thousands of people across the region. The SES responded to over 100 calls for help, including to some communities south of Lismore. The Richmond River breaking its banks, floodwater once again threatening Woodburn. Some houses suffering the same fate they did just weeks ago. Next time that's it, I'll finish. Just, yeah, just don't want to come again. We can handle this, but yeah. you know, we can get anything like that first one again, that'll just about do it. The memories of rescues and the cleanup fresh in the minds of locals. This flood, thankfully, didn't peak as much as expected. Residents told to evacuate yesterday, now safe to return, but volunteers are once again ready to help. What prompted us to come out today is that we heard of people who were stranded without medication, who were stranded without food, and as time has gone on, we've realised that the urgency is not as bad as we thought. Business owners and 
Woodburn had been working tirelessly to repair damage from the last flood. Some were even ready to reopen. But now those plans have been put on hold as they wait to see just how high the water will get. We're going to build this one as giving us yet. With many displaced locals still taking refuge in Evans Head, on the other side of this bridge, told to evacuate, Korakai is once again cut off. It's a sense of, um, here we go again, but we've got this, if that makes sense, because we're still experiencing it from only a month ago. In Broadwater, there was a sigh of relief for some returning to homes before the evacuation order was lifted this afternoon, after they feared the worst. Mark Byrne had moved back into his home, only to evacuate and leave again. He's grateful to be back. It can't be hard. I know it's pretty humble, but, but it's hard. Gracie Richter, NBN News. The race is now on for flood damage Byron Bay businesses to try and reopen before the Easter break. Yesterday, their main street was underwater. Today, residents move back in to pick up the pieces. In the lead up to Easter, Byron Bay stores would normally be getting stock in, not throwing it out. Yesterday's devastating flash flood has gutted dozens of businesses in the CBD. It hurts. It's, um like just running a business in the last, you know, two years has been exhausting, but now dealing with something like this, it's, it's tough. Ron's news agency was just one of many caught off guard. All the fixtures of cactus, majority of all the stock that's lower than, than down the bottom and, and out the back in the storeroom, that's all under. While residents are left to pick up the pieces, the finger pointing has already begun. We need better planning from the New South Wales government too. They don't have any emergency disaster planning in place, so when it happens, it's just absolutely chaotic. The devastating images of loss have spooked some visitors, bookings already being cancelled. With postcard scenery like this, it's not hard to see why millions of tourists are drawn to Byron Bay every year. Over summer, COVID drove sales down by 55%. For business owners, Easter was supposed to be the time they'd make that money back. I am concerned that that won't, you know, that won't happen for a lot of people. In one positive, Blues Fest has announced the show will go on. Despite the setbacks in Byron, there's always a reason to smile. Like the system that began the month, this system here at the end has different stages. Today it lashed the Newcastle area with heavy downpours and strong winds. This low is going to move back towards the coast and that is a problem. The winds are going to intensify along the New South Wales coast and we're going to see a monster swell emerge. So the showers will focus on the southern New South Wales coast but this swell is going to be massive and we're going to see coastal inundation occur as we move into the weekend as the swell continually builds as this low tracks towards southern New South Wales and also East Gippsland in Victoria. I'll be back a little later with more live from here at Lismore. Okay, thank you Gav. Well as Gav just said, the system today brought a deluge further south including to the Maclay and the Hunter. Live now to reporter Sarah Giuliano in Newcastle. Sarah, it has been wet and wild. There have been significant falls for parts of the Hunter, Nelson Bay and Lambton each reported, recorded more than 30 mils since 9am and those showers are likely to continue into tomorrow. We've already seen damaging waves building. Surf Fest was on a lay day today due to the poor conditions but it's the wind that will be of particular concern tomorrow with winds of 60 kilometres an hour and gusts of up to 100 kilometres an hour from the Seal Rocks area to the south coast, Tash. Thank you, Sarah. Traffic slowed to a crawl on the M1 this afternoon after a tanker heading south jackknifed and crashed at Summersby just past Pitts Ridge Road. Two of the three lanes were closed as emergency services responded. The driver, a man in his 40s, was treated at the scene. Understaffed and underpaid, New South Wales nurses walked off the job today fighting for a better deal. The health workers say the strike action isn't just for them, it's for the community, claiming current conditions are putting lives at risk. Running on fumes, they took to the streets. 
in a sea of scrubs are hospital workhorses walking off the ward and to the doors of state parliament. It's a bad day. All right, buddy. You ready when we're down to the My thing? Do you want to get a need to bring your phone? Depleted and traumatised. You need to bring your phone. Exactly. Your phone. Your phone. Your phone. Your phone. Your phone. What if there's an emergency? Their ranks thin uh, by early want... retirement or career what changes. What if there is, mate? You don't know that there's not going to be one. Mate, there won't be an emergency. We need to take our phone. Connor, we need to take our phone. Okay? Do you want to, can you set your camcorder up to do it? 100% every single day in the emergency department. It's ridiculous. After two years in the trenches, nurses and midwives from 161 hospitals boarded buses across Sydney, congregating in the CBD for a second strike in seven weeks. Midwives from 161 hospitals boarded buses across Sydney, congregating in the CBD for a second strike in seven weeks. We're just calling out to the government, please listen to us. We've just been through COVID. We have worked so hard. They're seeking a 4.7% pay rise, boost to patient ratios on every shift, a boost to maternity staffing, and an allowance for those working in regional hospitals. The Premier and the Minister, and they said they'd get back to us. But they say they're still waiting. The hope from a thousand here today as they march past State Parliament is that the Premier, the Government, and the Health Watch Minister out. hears their cries. We are committed uh, to working through those matters, and we will have something to say in relation to nurses not too far away. But unions warn we'll see more short strikes. The decades-long dispute is like not that. resolved. Okay. We have been short-staffed and we are underpaid and we yeah, are under pressure. We need this government to start this nature. Hundreds of nurses and midwives also marched in the streets across the mid-north coast today, desperately calling for better conditions. Not even the rain was going to stop the voices of local nurses and midwives. <laughs> Hitting the streets of Taree the second time in six weeks, calling on the state government to improve patient to staff ratios, resources and pay. We're burned out, we're frustrated, we're stressed, now we're angry. Taking a united stand, they shared their experiences. Without COVID patients, I could have one to ten. Um, two nurses on a night shift on one ward. The current conditions in New South Wales are causing nurses to leave in droves. We've been fighting this same fight for over a decade and we're tired. Some protesting today were not even on the government payroll. Well, the whole medical system needs the support. I've been both a patient and a carer for my husband. Protests were also seen up and down the coast. Many were unable to make the strike in Coffs Harbour due to flooding, while others took aim in Port Macquarie. You Leslie Williams, shame on you. You need to talk to us. At the moment we're getting oh, lots of representations up, because the patients are going home way oh. too early with, the, oh. with care that is not being provided. We're prepared to go on and we're prepared to fight this state government until the uh, next election. In a statement, New South Wales Health says it's talking with the Nurses and Midwives Union to find a solution. We won't stop and we will keep going until they actually come to the table and start talking. Rob Douglas, NBN News. Returning now to the flood situation and residents in Maxville have returned to their homes and started the cleanup process. 250 properties were door knocked last night when the SES issued an evacuation warning. 250 mil of rain in less than 24 hours. The aftermath evident today in Maxville. Streets in Kings Point inundated. Kayaking the only option for those wanting to stay dry. In Adam Simmons' home, a single piece of furniture occupies a room now filled with water. Renovations were only recently completed. Peter Rival cleaned mud from his mum's house this morning. Come up to about my knees through the shed. Others say they thankfully dodged a bullet. Uh, Ten mil, and it would have been through my, through my place. And so yeah, you're sitting there just anxious all night. There's nothing you can do. You just, it's just. Watching it coming. Down the road, swamped machinery sits in the middle of paddocks while livestock scrambled to higher ground. These drenched llamas were rescued last night. And this is an annual event now. So is that what we're going to expect? Because insurance is so really you can't get flood insurance here now. It's just too expensive. The water even crept through to the Maxwell CBD, slowly receding today, giving fire crews a chance to start the lengthy cleanup.
the water has been slow to subside today, so crews will be out there for as long as it takes. Firefighters are out there today hosing those streets down uh, just to try and keep them clean and, and to maintain hygiene for the residents. An emergency operations centre housing all agencies still set up at the local hospital. We're working together closely, prioritising jobs and just working our way through um, trying to make sure you know we can do the best by the most amount of people. Britt Ramsey, MBN News. And locals are on alert in the Hastings tonight as river levels could rise again in just a few hours. Residents have already dealt with near moderate flooding this morning caused by heavy rain and a high tide. Ferry operations between the North Shore and Settlement Point had ceased for more than two hours until the water receded. The Bureau predicts high tide to return at 10 o'clock. It's better news for the south on the mid-coast with the weather conditions easing. The Manning River did breach its banks in low-lying areas of Wingham on high tide this morning, but the river level is dropping at Tari, Harrington and Mount George. At the moment it's really good, it's going to settle down. There is a low off the coast um, that's decreasing as we speak. It will travel down the coast, that's the expectation of the time being, that it'll drift off the river. The Krokai community was also thankfully spared, despite an evacuation warning issued overnight. The Mid-North Coast has recorded just under 500 COVID cases in the past 24 hours. 42% of those were in the Port Macquarie Hastings LGA. Mid-Coast Council has taken its next step in improving its management of the local environment. It signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Mid-Coast 2 Tops Landcare identify all the, all the issues we can do better together. It's, it's already showing the results and means that we can actually look for opportunities for grant funding for them and uh, sort of formalise these whole structures. 180 people dined at a black tie event at Coffs Harbour Racecourse last night, the five course meal prepared by local TAFE students under the watchful eye of French chef Manu Fidel. Coffs the man with a little coffee on the back, league. Absolutely gorgeous. And we've got a fantastic team here, great food, and I think those guys over there are going to have a brilliant dinner. It raised $15,000 for the Can Do Cancer Trust. Let's take a quick look at the top temperatures across the region today. Port Macquarie had 25 degrees, Coffs Harbour 25 as well, at Grafton today, 27. You're watching NBN News. Still ahead, former NRL player Tristan Saylor found not guilty of sexual assault. Also ahead, the fitting farewell for the King of Spin. And why Bruce Willis has been forced to give up acting. Whether it's work or play, the Ram 1500 lineup makes light work of any challenge. Legendary capability meets luxury sports utility vehicle, taking your driving experience to the next level. Move more, tow more. Do more and enjoy more. The unrivaled Ram 1500 pickup range eats more than just use. Drive one today. Australia's making positive energy. It's all part of our plan to reach net zero by 2050. We're investing billions in projects like hydrogen hubs, which means more jobs and less emissions, which are already down by 20%, helping us reach net zero by 2050. Authorised by the Australian Government Camera. limit the way you move? Looking for a pad that doesn't bunch? Try Always Discreet. It has a super absorbent core that turns liquid into gel and is rated 4.5 stars on anti-bunching and scrunching by Aussie women. With Always Discreet, your bladder protection pad stays in place so you don't need to worry about leaks or bunching. It's time to question your protection. It's time for Always Discreet. Easter eggs straight to your boot. That's cute. Holiday fun delivered with a hot cross bun. Order by 1 pm for same day direct to boot or delivery. Shopping your way. That's today's fresh food people. Come in, I'll keep up. 
There's a glass and a half in everyone. It's the towels. What's on my head? Toyota Kluger Hybrid, where freedom meets family. Oh, what a feeling, Toyota. Has your life been turned upside down by a road accident? Talk to Australia's number one plaintiff law firm. Morris Blackburn Lawyers will maximise your claim so you can get on with your life again. Call us now. It costs nothing to know where you stand. Take the confusion out of buying a bed with Bedmatch at 40 Winks. Our exclusive system calculates your support needs so we can find the best mattress from our range of leading brands. Bedmatch, only at 40 Winks. Serious about sleep. Five people, including the pilot, are feared dead in a helicopter crash in rugged bushland north of Melbourne. The aircraft was on a charter flight, emergency crews battling for hours to find the wreckage. Dangling above the trees on Mount Disappointment, specialist police drop into dense and dangerous terrain. And what they discovered below was a disaster. Five people are feared dead pilot and his passengers, their helicopter crushed after falling from the sky. The nature of the impact itself uh, would be absolutely horrendous. Nine News understands the group of cattle farmers was on a charter flight to Yarrawonga. The helicopter left Moorabbin Airport with four passengers on board just after 7am. It stopped at the helipad on the Yarra River opposite Crown, then flew in a convoy with a second microflight aircraft heading north. But as it flew over Mount Disappointment near Lake Eildon, it vanished from sight. The second chopper, with another five people on board, raised the alarm, diverting and landing in Mandalore before flying back to Melbourne. For hours, the police air wings searched from the sky, hampered by low-lying cloud and dense bushland. The air ambulance was on standby before the wreck was spotted from above. We have very, very grave fears for the well-being of the pilot and the four passengers on board. I think it would be uh, a miracle if anybody was to come out. It took an hour for police on the ground to reach the site, hauling in excavators and heavy-duty vehicles to clear a path, while aerial police dropped critical supplies. Access to the aircraft is still proving difficult. Even here on the ground, authorities have had to set up base more than eight kilometres away from the wreckage, and officers from the Australian Transport Safety Bureau will join them soon. Authorities are holding out hope there will be survivors, but police are bracing for the worst. Former NRL player Tristan Saylor has been found not guilty on two counts of sexual assault. The 23-year-old was accused of raping a woman in her Sydney home in 2020. He was stood down by St George Illawarra after being charged. The Labor Party has pledged to fix nursing homes with a $2.5 billion package if it wins the federal election. The poll could be called within a week, while sparks flew in the lower house on its final sitting day. Of 21 Labor leaders, 12 became Prime Minister. With an election just a few weeks away. Anthony Albanese wants to be the lucky 13th. To change the country for the better. Mm -hmm. To make it fairer to make it more equal. But to do that, he must unseat the incumbents, and Scott Morrison isn't about to go quietly. He leads a tired old opposition made up of the relics of a failed government under Kevin Rudd. As both use the last sitting of the House before an election is called to lay some final blows. Why does this Prime Minister always go missing? Why does he never take responsibility? And why does he always try to divide the country instead of uniting it? in this very personal battle. He has, Mr Speaker, spent a lifetime advocating for things that he now says he walks away from. Today, Labor quizzed the government over sending the Commonwealth's Chief Counsel to intervene in a High Court case over an internal New South Wales Liberal Party pre-selection brawl. Isn't the only way to end the rorts, to end the waste and end the corruption, to end this government? <laughs> as the Prime Minister demanded the Labor leader use tonight's speech in reply to the budget 
to lay out an economic plan. There's a clear choice, Mr Speaker. Myself as Prime Minister and a leader of the opposition who's never done a budget in his life. Tonight, Anthony Albanese will pledge to fix nursing homes, delivering better food, enforcing minimum standards of care, ensuring there's always a registered nurse on duty and backing a bid to lift workers' wages. Chris Ullman, NBN News. There's been a fresh appeal for people to get their booster shots after New South Wales recorded 17 new COVID deaths. Of those who died, three were unvaccinated and nine weren't boosted. The state's triple vaccination rate stands at 59.9%. And isolation rules have changed. Now, if you've recovered from COVID within the last 12 weeks and are exposed to someone with the virus, you do not need to self-isolate. As send-offs go, they don't get much bigger. Shane Warne was the king of spin and last night's memorial at the MCG was certainly fit for royalty. Family, friends, stars and thousands of fans packing the stadium to say goodbye in style. It was one night only at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, an evening with Shane Warne, with family and some of his famous mates. I tell you, this song is in memory of Shane Probably one of the greatest sportsmen ever. And from one of the greatest performers ever, a fable for a friend. Just like in life, Wardy's farewell was a box office hit, a state memorial with a Hollywood touch. He loved life. There's no one like you, Wardy, and there never will be again. We will miss you. More than 50,000 in Melbourne, a legion of fans in Sydney, where he played his first and last test, and millions tuning in around the world. Which point of test cricket in England for a shame. They relived a career of highlights. And I take a step, and I bowl, and I, and I let go of the ball. Watching on the commentary team of the who's who of cricket, still mesmerised by his magic. If you could have one word to describe Wardy, what would it be? Genius. Bogan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go entertainer. He entertained us. Uh, definitely say the king. The king, yeah, I think the king's a great one. And music royalty continued to pay homage. I am Chris from the Bell Court Play. They had once shared the stage. But this was a solo performance. Not true alive, true alive for you. Ed Sheeran was also on the playlist. Take me to your loving arms. He was such a great bloke. A star-studded send-off for a rock star of cricket. No other cricketer could have packed out a stadium like this for one last long goodbye. The game was different before Shane Warne arrived, and now he's gone, it may never be the same. And no one will feel that loss more than his children. It's now been exactly 26 days since you went to heaven, and I miss you more than anything in the world. I'm so proud of everything you do. I'm so proud that you're my dad. But what makes me the saddest is I will never get to wrap my arms around you and give you the biggest hug and rest my chin on your chest. Shane Warne's greatest hat-trick in life then did the honours. A stand in his name in a place which he called home. It was all very touching, wonderfully done. Uh, I think he would have loved that. Really captured everything about him that, uh, that we all love. I really loved it. I really cried. I just want him back again. But we had the memories of a career and a night. I'm loving angels instead. Star power celebrating the ultimate show. Damien Bryan, NBN News. Coming up, more from Gavin Morris on the North Coast floods, including the four generations of the same family who lost their homes. Also ahead, breaking news, Ukraine's president addresses our parliament and the death of the man behind Hey Hey's co-host.
years of hybrid electric and fuel cell innovation, it's in our nature to strive for a cleaner tomorrow. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. Get your Woolies worth for Easter with great weekly specials like Woolworths traditional hot cross bun variety 6 to 9 pack, now 2 for $6. Save a dollar. It's just another way to get your Woolies worth. Ten essential vitamins and minerals, low GI, protein, high fiber. It's amazing what they squeeze into an up and go. We squeeze more good stuff in so you can get more out. No rush, mate. It's only the first. That can't be legal. I hope you put your same game on. Steve! Play everywhere, Australia. Tab. Long may we play. Everyone knows Australia has four big banks, but there's another big bank snapping at their heels. With 1.9 million customers, it's regularly voted one of Australia's most trusted brands. Welcome to Bendigo Bank, the better big bank. Welcome back live to Lismore where it's fair to say that the second major flooding event in weeks came as a nasty shock to many residents. But incredibly, for some, their spirits are still high as they await for these flood waters to recede so they can move back in and begin the recovery process for a second time. Stuck and sinking, caravans caught up in surging flood water and debris seeping out across town. After the Wilsons River peaked yesterday, devastating Lismore once again. That's my little rental house beside me, so we'll just get it washed out again today, and mate. Scenes entirely unexpected. Two major floods in only one month. We thought we'd dodged a bullet, to be honest with you. We followed the warnings, we did everything right. This morning, suburban streets were once again underwater. Locals cut off from the town with evacuation orders back in place. It looks like it's peaked here. If there is any form of good news I can deliver, it looks like the river has peaked just below 12 metres. For many, it's going to be a long wait for water levels to recede before they can begin the clean-up. Pretty happy, well not happy about it, but happy it didn't go that high again. But where it's already dry, the hard work has begun and spirits are strong. It should be a little bit easier to get on top of things this time around. Gurneys will be out, the brooms will be out, uh, people will just start cleaning up again. Tonight, there's hope in Lismore. The town and its people will emerge stronger than ever before. We've done it before, we can do it again and we'll get through it and we'll rebuild bigger and better than ever. A lot of people have lost homes during these twin disasters, including, incredibly, four generations of the same Northern Rivers family. Their four homes were completely swamped and now the Ashcrofts live in caravan south of Lismore. A heartbreaking return to a family home of more than 60 years. Flood damaged weeks ago and now even worse. Then I went down to see Mum's place. It had washed off the piers and it was up against the oak trees along the bank and it was sitting on an angle. And I just didn't, I, I was speechless. 
The house, belonging to Mark Ashcroft's 92-year-old mother, barely standing and again full of water. Mark bought this boat before that first disaster, not realising it would save his life as well as his mother and brothers. So if it wasn't for you buying this boat... Tommy got back there, she was up to a chest in water and they have been out the Rocky River or the Limboida where the torrent just goes down, that's just what it was like. Now, just as the ground was drying up, a second wave of flood water has soaked the entire region south of Lismore. And this devastating torrent was three metres lower than the last. Sadly, Mark lost his own home at Tucky Tucky on Tuesday after it was swept off its foundation and sent floating down the Wilsons River. He's also lost his tea tree distillery, a quarter of a million dollars worth of equipment. The two floods have left the entire Ashcroft family living in caravans at Tucky Tucky, including Mark's pregnant daughter and her partner, Nathan, whose home was inundated at Gerard's Hill four weeks ago. It was like a road wave. It come in behind us and pinned me in between the, the car door and the car. The thing that sticks with me and my children, because we have and teen and we have spoken about that, is the black curdling screams of the whole street. Nathan has set up a GoFundMe page to help get the Ashcrofts back on their feet. The current focus is getting Mark's mother back to her property in temporary accommodation. At 92, when all you want to do is be at your family home where you have the memories of raising your children. Oh yeah, she'd be back here tomorrow if she could. She'd probably live in a tent. <laughs> Josephine Shannon, NBN News. Tash, at midnight tonight, March 2022 comes to an end and the residents of the Northern Rivers will be very happy to see the end of it. I bet. They're tough, aren't they? Thank you, Gav. Breaking news now, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has addressed Australia's parliament. Federal politics reporter Fiona Willen has the details. The Ukrainian president has issued a plea for more help as well as a warning. Volodymyr Zelensky beamed into Parliament via video link. He was greeted with a standing ovation before delivering his message through a translator, saying if we don't stop Russia now, other countries looking for a similar war may seize the opportunity to act. Also suggesting Moscow could threaten the world through the use of nuclear weapons. Whatever is happening in our region, because of the Russian and Russian war, has destroyed the lives of people, has become a real threat to your country and to your people as well because this is the nature of the evil. It can instantly cross any distance, any barriers, destroy lives. For dozens of years there hasn't been this threat of nuclear attack as we have now. Scott Morrison told the Ukrainian president you have our prayers and our weapons pledging an extra $25 million for more lethal aid, as well as rations and medical supplies. Comedian Chris Rock has taken to the stage for the first time since that Oscars slap, performing at a sold-out theatre in Boston. Still kind of processing what happened at some point. I'm talking about the <laughs> And the serious the Academy has released a statement apologising to Rock and revealing that Will Smith was asked to leave the Oscars ceremony but refused. For decades he's been an on-screen action hero saving the world with a wisecrack, but Bruce Willis has suddenly called time on his acting career. The 67-year-old has been diagnosed with a rare brain condition, a language disorder, which robs sufferers of their ability to communicate. Go to the coast, we get together, have a few laughs. After four decades as Hollywood's tough guy, Bruce Willis is now facing his toughest fight yet. Take care of yourself. A shock diagnosis.
diagnosis has put an early wrap on his acting career. The 67-year-old is suffering from aphasia, a brain condition associated with strokes, often robbing people of their ability to communicate. Ex-wife Demi Moore and daughter Ruma Willis broke the news to fans in a statement, saying it's impacting his cognitive abilities, calling it a really challenging time. The actor retires with more than 100 films to his name, two Emmys and a Golden Globe. I see dead people. In your dreams? The final stage of his career has been the busiest, acting in 15 movies in just the past two and a half years, with another eight still to be released. In the United States, Michael Genovese, NBN News. One of the pioneers and great innovators of Australian television, Ernie Carroll, has died aged 92. He did it all in his long career, cameraman, producer, writer, actor, and was perhaps best known as the creator and puppeteer of Aussie Ostrich John Hey Hey, It's Saturday. I used to always insist on having boys, Jerry babies. Did you actually get just a little bit more <laughs> Jerry? Hey Hey host Daryl Summers has praised Ernie as a dear friend and a generous mentor. While the Australian share market fell today, it has notched its best month in more than a year. His business reporter Chris Kohler. The market was looking good all day, but then fell just at the last second. CBA's share price lost $1.30, but BHP was strong and is actually on track to hit a new record high. Harvey Norman dropped by more than 6%, but that's because the cutoff to receive the most recent dividend was today. Despite today's fall, March was the best month on our market in almost a year and a half, jumping 6.4% all up. And in that time,